recording has begun for your Wednesday. I'm going to talk like this the whole time. No, I can't even do that. Like, I don't think my voice has any ASMR properties, but I'm not about to make one of those because Jesus Christ. Anyway, we're geo-guessing, and I felt the need for speed to do a different theme map, and this time it's covered bridges around the world. I very much think I'm going to do god-awful this time. Now, the reason I picked this mainly was just because there's a lot of those New Englandish in my state. There, there's, there's some book called The Covered Bridges of Madison County, although I think that's like Wisconsin or something. Uh, the average score on this was 1,400, and I'm very much going to get an awful, <clears throat> awful score this time. Anyway, as we do this and go through McMansions, and other, this is like a low poly house that they never actually completely finished um, creating in a game. It's just like in beta, they haven't finished filling out that house yet. Um, yeah, hey, how we doing? This apparently is the wrong way to go. We're going to go this way instead. GeoGuessr here on the channel. We're uh, having a great time. Monday's episode went out. It was good old Kentucky. Oh, here we go. Country Club Trail, you say. I'm going to go this way. Only because there's that Lewiston. Yeah, I think it's like perfectly placed. These are New York's the New Yorkish plates, I think. National Grid, Lewiston, something New York. All right, so I've got I've got the state, and my shoulder is still killing me. If you want some advice, people who are younger than me, never get old. Or if you do sleep, figure out how to do it in suspended animation. Or if you sleep on a completely concrete slab and are completely comfortable and fine with that, you are set. Niagara Falls Bridge Commission, maintenance facility, Upper Mountain Road. So we are near Niagara Falls. Um, I'm going to guess maybe, maybe we're like Lindenville. That seemed like a thing. I'm just going to put us here and be potentially okay with that. Um, it was one of the things that very much blew my mind about, uh, when I went to go visit Taiwan six years ago. Oh boy, we are pumping the brakes on this six years ago. Okay. We've got. South of 190. Where is 190? There's 190. 265, you say. There's two. Lewiston, here we go. I need to find whatever that uh, road was called. Uh, let's, let's move a bit. Let's see if I can't find it. Oh, it was, what was it called? Covered Bridge Upper Mountain Road. All right, Upper Mountain Road. Uh, anyway, I was very surprised. Upper Mountain Road that someone could sleep on such extremely rock hard and uncomfortable, uh, uncomfortable like positions like I was always grew up with a bed but visiting people over there in that country maybe it wasn't so much a uh, country club trail okay oh I was about to click on the water because that's where the thing was gonna be god damn it well we've got we're in uh, China uh, China Junior actually you may not be familiar with it, but this is where it is. Um. Anyway, casino, huh? That is very much out of the way. Um. 
train of thought gets keeps keeps getting stifled here with my inability to finish a sentence. Um, yeah, sleeping on completely rock hard surfaces worked well for them. So if you need to find a way to maybe potentially um have your longevity lengthened, what a dumb sentence. Um. Start doing stuff like that, because maybe you can sleep on a completely rock-hard thing, have your back be fine, and uh, not have back issues when you get older, or shoulder issues from sleeping funny positions. That's where all of this came from. What a fucking meandering sentence here. Anyway, as we do this covered bridge thing, uh, I think this is going to say where we are. We're in Yosef. Is there a Yosef somewhere here? I think we're near interlocking, even though I've got nothing to base that on. If you have yourself a suggestion for a map you'd like to have me do, or a theme, or a game, or a topic, or a thought you have, you'd like me to give you my input on, because why? I, I, I don't know, but hey, go ahead and put them in the comments down there below. And if you don't remember this, I probably will we'll say this again in about 16 minutes. Maybe a little less. Um, how's your week been? I uh, finished that Witcher book over the weekend. Fast read when I actually sat down and read it. I mean, it did take me over a month to do it, but that's just because I would mainly do it like once on a Saturday for a couple hours, and then I'd put it away and do some other stuff. I mean, it's great. Very much did enjoy that I forced myself to do a book a month last year, and now it's kind of... Of, I guess you can call it a sprint, even though it's not, because I'm just reading a book. I've now slowed the sprint down to a, a, a nice little trot, as it were, to continue reading. And the problem is, though, that um, this is a whole series of books, and I feel like I should um, actually read them all at once, but I have this other book that I got before the which one came to me that I very much want to read. I believe it's uh, The Ghost of King Leopold. Because that's not going to be a uh, completely depressing thing in any way. But here it's a good book and I want to read it. So I'm going to. Um, yeah, I feel like if I don't just continue with the Witcher stuff, I'll like forget things. Big surprise, me forget shit. But um, I think I'll be fine. I don't know how long this book is. But I'm, I, I think I've kind of talked myself into just go ahead and uh, read that um, Leopold book. Why can't I see? We're in St. Joseph's Stiflung. Can I actually find that anywhere here? Probably not. But we're going to try in the 22 seconds we have left. I don't think this is a big enough town. I mean, it, it, I saw the Mexican flag, so we have to be bordering on the Mexican side of uh, Switzerland. If you're not sure of uh, where that is, it's a uh, very hard place to find. It's actually in this lake. See, Lake Demosen is... Uh, see, that's where I clicked. That's not where it is. It's over here. I don't want to see it. Thank you. Oh, we're in the, in the town of... Brem Garden, Brem's Garden. Good to know. Uh, as I sit here and continue using my mouse and being in awe about how much my shoulder is just being like, nah, dog, we're, we're pissed at you for some reason. I don't know why. Having a bad day, hug a dog. Well, let me tell you something. I had a dog when I was a child. It wasn't really my dog. Ashlyn Terrace. I don't know where that is, but we're going to find out. Um... When I was a kid, my family had a dog. It was a corgi. His name was Austin. Now, Austin was a magical dog. Magical in the sense that I've never seen any other dog do this, but I know it's a thing that I would have to go and take him for walks outside to the front yard. And his, his procedure of doing things was to uh, go outside, sniff around for a while, find an old pile of shit he made, eat it, and then go ahead and take a dump. It's like the circle of life. It's it's cyclical. He has to do it. It was gross. But 
That's what he did. And we were right on a very busy road. But he uh, didn't give a shit. Gave everyone a, a nice little view of him just eating chocolate kibasas all day. Uh, but that's not, I mean, that is a gross thing, but that's that's not why I call him a magical dog. I don't know what I did. I mean, I'm sure I was a shitty little kid, and I probably pissed him off, but this dog, uh, I always have this memory in my head of this animal when I would have to wait for the school bus in the kitchen. That's where we had our washers and dryers. Uh, I would have to sit on that thing because that dog hated us, or hated me, I should say. He would take a couple of bites of his food, turn around, look at me, and then just start growling, and then go back eating. And he would do this all the time. Just with me. Like, everyone else, he, he, everyone else liked that dog, but that dog hated me. I don't know where the fuck this is, and I have not seen a cover bridge anywhere. I feel a little, uh, a little misled on this one. Like, can I... Lawyers... I, man, where I'm gonna see what's in front of this building, McHale's Brew House and Pub. I don't know where four two three is. I'm gonna hit home. <clears throat> oh, really? That's a stretch. They're calling that the covered bridge. All right, you know that's. I'm taking umbrage. That's me pulling the umbrage flag right now. As to them calling this a, a fucking Ashland Terrace. Where is this? I don't know. This is like just sprawl everywhere here. All right, Fred Williams, where are we? Our nation. There's a lot of military stuff here, but that doesn't mean anything. Walmart neighborhood market. Not seen one of those before. Are we out west? Retirement stuff, super tobacco mart. <clears throat> not seeing anything that helps me. I said not seeing. Not another word when you say it fast sounds like that. Grumpy's music and doors. Oh, okay, I thought that said Grumpy's music and that's a weird combination. Food Lion. Now Food Lion, that is a Midwest West thing, I think. The fuck are we? I got twenty seconds. I've got nothing. Give me something i've got this is this is baffling it's just been a whole lot of nothing um chattanooga tennessee all right i got tennessee at least <laughs> uh god okay that was ashland terrace road do they actually label the name of the bridge that's a stretch buddy i'll give it to you okay Really, your your definition of what a cover bridge is. I mean, yes, you can drive it through drive through it with a car, but come on, you know what? You Google cover bridges. They're gonna be these old wooden structures, like the first two. You saw what those look like. All right, flood prone area. Don't turn turn around. Don't drown when water is on the road. <clears throat> good good information. How did I get on the top? Oh, the dog hugging thing. Um, yeah, I don't think I've actually run across a nasty dog like that before. I did. Grandmother had another dog. It was, um, a uh, husky. I think a Malmute. Madison Creek. Can I get, I, can I get up there? I cannot. Um, maybe this is Wisconsin. Maybe not. Uh, my, my grandmother had this dog, Isha. And whenever I go to visit, this is me as a little kid. And they do have some flooding happening here. It looks like you got a little bit of erosion. They put in some new rocks. My throat, give me a sec. Sorry. Um, I was a little kid at the time. I had no idea what this dog did, but. I felt bad for the dog because, like, it was just up on a hill. No one would go see it. Madison Creek Baptist Church. All right, so I think we're actually in this in Wisconsin. There's Madison, so we're we're gonna be around here. Um, 
What do we got? Log Hollow Park. That doesn't help me. Clear view glass. Can we can we actually see this municipal? Goodlitzville Public Works. Alright, so Goodlitzville is a thing. See how many Vills are right here? Not seeing it. But I'm just gonna click like down here first. Oh god, my shoulder. All right, I'm going to stop complaining about it and continue with this dumb story about a dog. Uh, I would pet it. You would get happy. And he was in a little uh, dog house that would, um, what would he do? He would, dog house out there with a chain to it. And he would just kind of like run around on his chain. I'd come over and pet him. He'd get real happy. And then he would go over to this tree. And this is me, no idea what he, at the time. I was probably maybe an age of innocence, we'll say. And I'd see a dog go over to this one tree and just start going to town on it. He was very excited with this tree. He would just hump it nonstop. I didn't know what he was doing at the time. I was just like, oh, he's, he's, a, he's a happy dog. He'd come over, i pet him, and then he goes hump this tree, and he comes back. Like, I didn't know what he was doing as far as, like, action in action. Like, humping was like, oh, he's just moving. I had no idea what he was doing until years later I had reflected on it. And then I was like, oh, God, that dog assaulted that tree. Felt bad for that um, that tree in retrospect. But very happy dog. So much, though, that he fucked a sapling for, I don't know how much. This thing was bent over. I think it got a lot of use. I mean, I don't know how much that dog was let off of the leash to wander around. I'm sure it did. But I don't even know who owned that dog. Like, it was my grandmother's house, my grandpa was there, my aunt lived there as well, but she raised corgis. I don't know, maybe I should ask. Find out about this Isha dog and who actually owned him. I did click a place, okay, I did. Am I close? No. <laughs> we were actually in Tennessee, huh? Oh, there's Madison Creek, so that's what threw me off. All right, touche. Good Litzville. Well, okay, this is this is a covered bridge, however, it's not what I've come to expect, but whatever. My that's that's my prejudice prejudice coming into this. Alright, so this is a specific little town that has its own little Spencer Creek. It has its own little uh logos on their signs. We've got Spencer Creek Park, City of St. Pete. Can I see what St. Peter's? I don't know where St. Peter's. I know there's St. Petersburg, but this is definitely not that. This is some suburbia up in here. I don't like it. I think I'm going to get trapped in suburbia. I'm going to go the other way. Just to... Okay, I did unmute it. Thankfully... I did that. All right, let's get out. Let's get out of that part of town and go into arguably the same thing. Big houses. Give me yard bird. Okay, so this could be, though I could be extremely reading into this way more. Okay, I think it's just this guy owns this company. A. If I see more than just one, like landscaping company around here then I'll know but this very well could just be like a part of the country where either they live in a development where they have to pay somebody to come mow their lawn or they're too rich and or lazy to do it themselves so they pay people to do it I don't think this is the case though I am not getting any information here though stump stopper uh, that's some very fine print. Fence backyard doesn't help me. Hmm. Let's continue and try to find where the fuck we are. I'm more than halfway through this, and I got I got nothing. Where's that yellow truck? Let's go down a little bit. Yellow truck. Did I go? F oh, we do have a neighbor neighborhood watch sign. Yep, ever, that just means we have nosy neighbors. 
Where are we? It's just sprawl everywhere. What is this? A smush box that no one's going to pick up. This road, it's, it just never ends. I'm just hoping to find a, like, oh, we're, okay, we do have a four-lane chunk of road here. This is, this is promising, at least. We've got, watch for motorcycles. Where is this? Like, I don't know. This is a weird part of, like, this road's all concrete. I mean, concrete's a bit better, I believe, for, like, road maintenance, but St. Peter's, Missouri. Who the fuck is St. Petersburg, Missouri? Is it St. Pete's or Petersburg? St. Peter's, Missouri. Well, we're going to say up here, I doubt I'm actually going to find this. I got the, I got the state, at least, and now we're going to try to find... I've never been to the state, so this is new to me. Lots of concrete. I believe it's just concrete slabs they have on this road here. And I ran out of time. We were actually... Oh, St. Peter is a thing? Right outside St. Louis. How about that? I did not know. Well, how about that? The covered bridges of the world, as you see, they only exist in the U.S. and apparently Mexican... Switzerland. Anyway, that's going to do it for us on this Wednesday. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did or didn't or whatever. Comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions, thoughts, ideas, anything at all, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll read them and get back to you. One more day to go. And that's Friday. We don't count Thursdays and Tuesdays here. They just take up space. Anyway, we'll see you then. Goodbye. <laughs>